Hey guys, Jay Nasty here. What is up guys? This is a 185 kill gameplay with the MP7. I am using a suppressor and I think I'm using fast mags, but I'm actually going to talk about um, why I stopped using the suppressor and why I stopped using Ghost in Black Ops 2. Also, I'll discuss the Ghost perk and give you guys an alternative, my thoughts on how it should work. Um, but I'll talk about that later as well. Also, if we can hit 3k likes, that'd be pretty tight. And uh, let me begin right now with the commentary, guys. Let me talk about the topics I want to talk about and shit. But um, anyways, um, I want to talk about why I stopped using the suppressors on all my guns and why I stopped using Ghost in Black Ops 2. And if you guys noticed, um, about two, three months ago, this is when I realized that you didn't need a suppressor in Black Ops 2. Um, after they nerfed the SMGs like really, really bad with the suppressor, I started running with without one. And I started, I had some really good success without using SMGs. Even when I run in a full nine-man party, I really don't need a suppressor. And um, I found that... You know, in, in Modern Warfare 3, it was really viable to have a suppressor and stay off the map, especially when going for MOABs. Um, in Black Ops 1, if you guys remember, nobody used the suppressor. Like, rarely anybody used a suppressor. And that's what I'm finding in this game is you can really rush well and you don't need a suppressor in Black Ops 2. I don't know why that is, but in Treyarch games, you really don't need that silencer. But in Infinity War games, going for those nukes and those MOABs, they were, it was really vital. In, in this game, you need about, what, 10 kills to get a kill streak. So I guess that um, is the main reason why, but like I said, um, I stopped using it and I, I found great success in it. And if you're wondering why I, I think this works well, is it's because I have really good map awareness and I also know the spawns really, really well. So say somebody calls in a UAV and I'm using my, my flat jacket hardline class and guys, if you're not wearing flat jacket and hardline, you're, you're doing it wrong. If you're going for 100 kill games or 200 kill games, you need your hardline and your flat jacket. So many people throw C4s and there's so many times when you go up to a little staircase and there's a Betty and you drop shot it, but since that Betty is up like halfway up that staircase, you're automatically dead. That's why you need that flat jacket perk. Um, that was just a little tip for you guys, but um, like I said, I have really good map awareness and really good spawn knowledge, and if somebody calls in a UAV, they're just going to have a general idea where I am. They're not going to know exactly where I am just for the sheer fact that I'm always moving in this game, and that's actually a, a really big benefit. Um, is always moving and especially when you're not using a suppressor like myself I, I stopped using them in this gameplay you're seeing it, but this is from April actually so this is a really old gameplay um, Man fuck snipers. That was bullshit bullshit sniper. I hate snipers dude But like I said because I'm always moving around you really don't need that suppressor um, If there's UAVs up, they're not gonna know exact. They're gonna know the general uh, Like area that you're at. They're not gonna know your pinpoint location So I don't think it's I don't think it's that important to run ghost or use a suppressor anymore in this game. Also, the benefits of not using a suppressor, your bullets are gonna hit harder. And uh, like I said, if you're if you're not using a suppressor, there's no point in using ghost. If you're using ghost with no with no suppressor, you're an idiot. That's like the worst setup I've ever seen in my life. So make sure you're using hardline with flat jacket with an unsilenced weapon, especially on your SMGs. Especially on your SMGs. The only gun I think that you would want to use a suppressor on. Uh, there's actually one SMG, is the MP7, this gun, and also the A94. Those are really the only guns that I think it's it's viable to use a, a suppressor on. And that's just my opinion. So if you want to do that, if you're using like an MSMC, take off the suppressor. There's no point for it. Um, also, let me talk about my ghost my ghost perk idea. Instead of having the, the perk ghost, which is the most fucking u like useless piece of shit perk in the game, and if you notice, like UAVs, are, they're really easy to get, but they're actually a really, really good kill streak. And I, I've always thought that UAVs should be a little bit higher on the list, um, just because, like I said, they're a really, really strong. Um, UAVs are really, really strong. But like I was saying, instead of having the perk ghost, if you're, if there's a UAV in the air, and say, like they just removed the, the perk, like the ghost perk, if you're, if you're moving and the UAVs in the air, you shouldn't show up. So you should pretty much have the ghost perk at all times, but you shouldn't have to waste a slot for it. And that's my opinion. If they would just take that shit out, you could put a more useful perk in the game. Maybe like stopping power and juggernaut again or some, some shit like that. But I don't know, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm not really feeling the YouTube shit. You can probably tell in my commentaries. I'll try to spice it up. Do some face cams. Do that Rota Hex and Moab shit that I was talking about. But anyways, guys. Peace out, bags. Hope you enjoy the video.